special assignment, a medical breakthrough for all of you who suffer from sinus problems, a high-tech 3D procedure that can give you permanent results without incisions. Thelma Gutierrez reports it's a development that can have you breathing freely once again. The pain, uh, the pressure. Headaches, I had like a lot of headaches. A lot of pressure right here. That's what it's like for people who suffer from chronic sinus problems. It would even go clear down to my neck and, you know, into my arms. Bill Bryant's sinuses began giving him trouble about five years ago. If I wanted to get a drink of water or something like that, I couldn't drink and breathe at the same time. Carmen Heinzman says her sinus troubles triggered asthma attacks and prevented her from working in her garden. We have like 45 olive trees. <laughs> And I was really bad, you know, we were getting ready to sell the house. Ear, nose and throat specialist Dr. Mark Kerner says, like most sinus patients, Bill and Carmen's allergies cause polyps to develop and block their sinus cavities. This sets up a cycle of recurrent infections, uh, and which they subsequently get the pain and the pressure and the symptoms associated with a sinus infection. So Dr. Kerner performed a minimally invasive procedure called endoscopic sinus surgery. What we try to do is restore the natural openings and the natural drainage patterns of the sinuses. In the procedure, which has been around a few years, a miniature camera and tiny instruments are inserted through the nostrils. There's no incision, and the patient goes home the same day. But Dr. Kerner says a new guidance system called InstaTrack is now making the surgery much more precise and a whole lot safer by providing a road map of the nasal passages and sinus cavities. The sinus cavities are three-dimensional structures and it's very difficult to know what's on the other side. And so where this has helped surgeons is allowed us to get into the sinus cavities safely uh, without uh, entering into the brain or the eye. First, patients put on a headset and visit radiology for a set of CT scans. The images are then stored in the InstaTrack computer. There's an electromagnetic tracking device that attaches to the uh, computer workstation and to our probe that we use in the patient's sinus cavities. As Dr. Kerner moves the probe, the monitor shows him exactly where he's going. But now after my surgery, I go outside and I rake and I do everything and nothing seems to bother me anymore. Mm. This was Bill's first sinus operation and hopefully his last. Good, excellent. You know, my headaches have gone away and, and you know, everything seems to be going really well. A patient's CT scan is permanently stored in the computer, so if Bill or Carmen ever need another sinus operation, their anatomical roadmaps will be there to guide the surgeon every step of the way. Back to you.